Welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. This is the Nightmare Legacy blind playthrough. I don't know any of the missions in advance, so we're going to be in for a little bit of a treat. My name is Saiken and I'm going to be your host of today's session. We're in run number three, mission number five. Just to refresh your memories, we are uh, requiring to um, save this black market traitor, or traitor, or traitor rather. As always, XCOM incentivizes us to move in aggressively. You get a lot of bonus points for killing enemies in the first five turns. And that's the first pack that we have scouted out. So, I'd like to move closer to them. Um, got our Grenadier. Um, I'd like to get into position. We got our Sniper. Whom again I'd like to get into position. Got Lily here. We got um, our Ranger over here. I think this is a better position. And last but not least, we got our Skirmisher over here. Central position um, absolutely makes sense because he can um, elevate himself. We are running three um, grappling hooks, which is going to be wonderful in this map. I can only imagine how how much mobility we're going to have with uh, just with the grappling hooks, really. And that's the second pack. So the game is basically forcing us to either remain calm or get more points. Well, you know what Saiken is going to do, right? We're getting more points, of course. Or do I already have an idea? This pack here looks less, less dangerous. This here, on the other hand, is a pack that we can easily deal with. Yep, these are our targets. That's all fine and dandy. We'll come back to you in a second. Alright, wait a second. Good. This here is a nice little shrapnel. And let's start. Uh, this combat by putting ourselves up here. The reason why I'm putting myself up in the middle of the whole map is I already mentally um, accepted the fact that we're going to fight two packs. Like, that means we need to use our Mimic Beacon, so there's really no way around it. Which means we're starting with a Plasma Grenade. I could have used kill zone by thinking about it. Nah, maybe a mistake. Could have had three shots just based on it. Yeah. Well, that would would have been a slight improvement. Anyways. Let's whiplash the mech. Just making sure it dies. And the question is, are we going to use the Mimic Beacon here? Or is our Ranger going to use it? I mean, the thing with the Ranger is, we do have a shotgun, which just deals more damage. So technically, that's the superior choice. Yeah, so we're probably we're probably going to use the ranger um, to deal damage instead. This guy here only has three hit points. Hmm. We do have a capacitated discharger as well. That's a bit of damage, but. 
No one's clustered up yet. And of course, we would have a grenade explosion, but that's probably just completely a uh, complete overshot. Hmm. You know what? I do have an idea. Let's move over. Let's use the combat protocol to make sure this guy is definitely going to die. It's a hundred percent. And I uh, depend the decision what what to do next. Um, I'll depend it based on how well we're hitting um, this guy. So, moving in, I'd like to mark him, chain shot, come on, hit him, very nice, come on, hit him again, well, it's not too bad, so if we were, it's 88% chance, So we could effectively hit him with an 88% chance. Uh, oh, we even got our sniper left over. <laughs> I almost forgot that. Well, that's going to be easy. Fair enough, well, that's yet another kill. Death from above, uh, we're going to use that for an overboard shot. And honestly speaking, I, I think what we're going to do is we're going to lure them outside here. Putting like a mimic beacon right here okay and what we want to do as well is get the priest into the open if the priest is now moving he's going to take another shot from overwatch Well, alternatively, it's the Andromedon, but both are going to attack um, the Mimic Beacon. Oh shit, that's going to be a wounded soldier. I must uh, okay. Well, it's not a wounded soldier, even better. Very strange mechanic. Everyone kind of fell down, but then decided to not fall down. But that's okay. I mean, whatever. Moving over. Getting in, him into sustenance. He's still burning. So, once he finishes, he'll die, and we're in retribution range, so as soon as he moves, um, we can actually start to finish him. Um, as for this guy... We couldn't see him from up here. That's too bad. So let's get as close as possible. I'm actually inclined to 
to just shoot at him instead of um, using one of our grenades. Because we also have holo targeting, and holo targeting means everyone else has a better time in hitting him, plus three shredding is a very strong argument. This here should kill him, and we're getting death from above as a bonus. Very nice. Good job. Lily can move last. We potentially can kill him. Moving over here. Moving out. Taking a shotgun shot. Come on. Okay, 94% missed. That's unfortunate. being revealed. Um, what's our chance to just shut him down? Because after this round I'm not in a hurry to fight on. It's just if we were to shut it down it's a hundred percent. So we're just crowd controlling it. That's fine. There is no disadvantage in it. I don't want to use the second uh, Combat protocol yet because I don't know what kind of enemies we're going to find. We're going to Overwatch here and actually Overwatch in here, which means this guy here will now, unless he immediately takes a shot, take multiple Overwatch shots. Moving a bit closer. Taking a shot. Nice, 10 points of damage. Very solid. Also moving a bit closer over here. Killing him, very solid, 6,000 points, that's great. I'd like to keep the high ground to be honest. And I also like to keep us in concealment. Not yet fully moving in, it's more a bit of a scouting. Reloading, Overwatch, Overwatch. And we're slowing our tempo down, it's fine. So they just chose to ignore um, being completely targeted. That is strange to say the least. Trader had a couple of friends with her. 
didn't feel right to leave them behind. So I saw two chrysalids and two purifier. Which tells me, sooner or later, they are going to charge in. Which then again tells me, we need to be ready. So, Overwatch, Overwatch. Um, moving over here. Pretty sure we're going to see more uh, multiples of them this turn. And our VIP needs to come back. Thank you. Moving out. Moving to Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Okay, come on, bring it on, guys. Oh wow, you're telling me no one was joining us. Oh, so now we're uh, talking, right? Good, so it's either the rocket, uh, uh, the rocket launcher, a uh, launcher, or the grenades. I think we're going to go with the rocket launcher here because it's just cleaner. I think we're looking at the last pack, to be honest. Not sure, but there is a high probability. Let's just put it that way. Almost, buddy, almost. Capacitator discharge. Well, that should take care of about three or uh, two of them. Yeah, that pack isn't really strong. Shh. 
So, moving over here. Very solid hit. <laughs> yeah, trigger. It's getting better. Okay, he unfortunately missed the second one. But we still got our sniper shot. And that should be a hit. Moving up, so I think we have our grappling hook ready. Next turn, we could take uh, more f um, a position that is more at the front. And there is actually another pack. I can't help but remember Dad's voice telling me to run, to leave this place and not look back. I don't think I can do that anymore. I'll get that device and make it back home. Moving in. Let's see if we can spot something out. As you order, Commander. Ooh. Well, the last pack is actually challenging. I like it. Reload. Getting it done. Let's move everyone into position. Je lance le crochet. What the? Okay, that's not exactly moving him into position. So, I think overall we do have a pretty solid position here. Reload, Overwatch. Not sure if these guys are anyways going to move at all. It seems they aren't, which then again motivates me to test the wonderful remote start. That's 36 damage just by remote starting. Our world is dangerous. Oh, wow. And the pack doesn't even know where we are. I said the pack doesn't even know where we are. <clears throat> Which part of that led you to believe that they can advance? Doesn't even make sense. Good, so who had the Mimic Beacon? I think we're talking, okay. Fair enough. If you want a, a nice little street fight, you're going to get your nice little street fight. Moving into full cover. Removing all of their cover. Actually, we're not because apparently that cover here was indestructible.
Um, moving up further, we still got our flashbang if needed. Like to kill the uh, the sh uh, the specter with two hit points first. Come on, 50-50. There we go. Good job, rookie. Now we want to kill the other specter, and the way I'd like to do that is I'd like to use the one action that we do have in order to pull it out of cover. Success! Yay! Good job, buddy. Which means we can finally use our free pistol shot from Death from Above to finish off the Spectre. It's another one down. Just like that. Now. Moving into half cover. That could actually be a kill. Lily, you had it. Oh, wait, we have one more cha uh, chance. Well, not the best else, but after seeing how Lily missed it. <sighs> well, I guess there goes the last Mimic Beacon. Yeah, you're not required to hit the Archon. I mean, if the pros can't hit it, why should a rookie be ashamed? We're going to mark it. We're actually going to kill it. Solid, very solid. Um, now I'd like to move up. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Yeah, I'm not even sure if there is any more. I think we're done, done. I'd assume there is no more enemy contact left. Yeah, there is no an alien turn. Hence, there is no alien. Hence, we're going to get out of here. I will go. No need to ask twice. She party. Yeah, wow, that was an interesting mission. I mean, overall, the start was um, difficult, but that was to be expected when we're fighting two packs at once. I think afterwards we pretty much nailed it. Did not necessarily have the feeling that we were in, in trouble at any stage of uh, of this map. Closing on target position now. Throw the hook. Roger that. A great 
Okay, yeah, yeah, that's all fine and good. I shoot whatever moves, right? Let's get the last guys all up the here. Already there. Deployment complete. Okay, let's extract everyone. One, two, three. Our new black market friend was safe and sound. Four, five, six. Oh, that's number seven. I'm going. And eight. I think one person is missing, right? Oh, maybe I was wrong. Easy! Easy! Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to get the Dark Lands. Uh, uh, dark Lands, that's not even a question. <laughs> what a question. Dark Lands is so much better than any other sniper. Um, Guardian is okay. Deep Cover is. Yeah, it, it's actually worth taking all of the abilities that I wouldn't uh, use. Banish is good. Hail of Bullets is okay, Steady Hand also okay. I, I don't know, I mean, fair enough. I think we just passed 200,000, uh, so I'm pretty confident that we can make the 260k here. Uh, despite a slow start, we're actually starting to rock it. Chief Engineer's Log, Day 142. Thanks to our new friend, Masha, we got a lead on another crashed ship. This time an alien scout craft. After my success in integrating the AI system, I'm hoping there may be some more useful code in its data core. Which is why I volunteered to lead the operation myself. I'd love to elaborate here, but I need to hurry. I have a mission to prep. Seems like an extraction mission to me. We're in concealment. Chief's log supplemental. One additional detail I forgot to mention. Masha discovered the location of the crashed scout. Oh wow, look at the amount of points. If we play our cards right, we might as well be able to um, to get the 260,000 in this mission. That would be awesome. So yeah, that's going to happen in the next mission, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and a comment down below. Thanks.